For thoracic figure eights, you're going to be doing quite a lot with your thoracic spine, so that is your upper spine. Uh, first of all, do make sure you can do thoracic anterior posterior glides. So that is moving your spine forwards and backwards without additional help from the ribs, without additional help from the head or the neck. You also want to make sure you can move uh, thoracic lateral glides, so that is moving side to side without shifting uh, the weight at your hips. So it's only from the top. If you can do both of those, then we should be able to combine them to make thoracic circles. And the figure eight is just the same movement, but uh, much smaller. So I'm gonna start by moving to the back, back to the side, round to the front. Once I get to the front, instead of continuing onto the other side, I'm gonna come back to neutral and move around the other direction, okay? So this one will probably be quite difficult to do fast without having loads of uh, additional motion in the pelvis simply because you're having to think quite hard about when you're changing direction and moving around. 